Olivia English Practice. Hey, English learners. Today, we're diving into five common mistakes that are holding you back. Trust me, if you avoid these, your English will improve fast. Stick around, because the last mistake is the most overlooked one. Mistake number one. Relying too much on native language. Relying on your native language too much. I see this all the time. You think in your native language, translate word for word, and then speak. But English doesn't work that way. Mistake number two. Skipping pronunciation practice. Skipping pronunciation practice. A lot of learners think they can focus only on vocabulary and grammar. But if you don't work on pronunciation, you'll struggle to be understood. Mistake number three. Overusing filler words. Next up, mistake number three. Overusing filler words like, um, uh, or like. These make you sound less confident. Sure. Native speakers use them, but too many can distract from your message. Mistake number four. Focusing too much on grammar rules. Focusing too much on grammar rules. I get it. Grammar's important. But if you spend too much time worrying about every little rule, you'll freeze up when speaking. Let's talk about avoiding the five common mistakes English learners make. Have you noticed common mistakes English learners make? Many focus too much on grammar rules. Have you noticed common mistakes English learners make? Many focus too much on grammar rules. That's true. It makes them freeze when speaking. Exactly. They hesitate instead of speaking naturally. That's true. It makes them freeze when speaking. Exactly. They hesitate instead of speaking naturally. Another issue is overusing filler words like um. Right. It interrupts the flow of their sentences. Another issue is overusing filler words like um. Right. It interrupts the flow of their sentences. What about relying on translation from native language? It slows down progress and makes sentences awkward. What about relying on translation from native language? It slows down progress and makes sentences awkward. What about relying on translation from native language? It slows down progress and makes sentences awkward. Yes, thinking in English really speeds up fluency. Totally. Fluent speakers think directly in the language. Yes, thinking in English really speeds up fluency. Totally. Fluent speakers think directly in the language. Do learners often skip pronunciation practice as well? Yes, many focus on vocabulary but ignore pronunciation. That's a big mistake. Clear speech needs practice. Definitely. Consistent pronunciation practice builds confidence. I think they're also afraid of making mistakes. 
Fear of mistakes blocks learning and real growth. Agreed. Mistakes are part of the learning process. Exactly. It's how you improve over time. Any tips on overcoming these common mistakes? Yes, focus on speaking naturally, not perfect grammar. Good advice. Avoid filler words and practice pronunciation. Right. Also, try to think directly in English. What's the best way to stop translating mentally? Immerse yourself in English content as much as possible. Makes sense. Listening helps with both fluency and pronunciation. Exactly. Native content improves speech rhythm and intonation. Do you think learning too much grammar limits fluency? Yes, fluency comes from practice, not memorizing rules. So, it's better to learn by speaking, right? Yes, conversation practice builds confidence and natural flow. And feedback from others helps correct pronunciation errors. Absolutely. Feedback is key to mastering pronunciation. I see. So, fear of mistakes holds learners back. Exactly. Fear leads to hesitation and slower progress. I'll focus more on speaking and less on perfection. That's the best way to improve fast. Keep practicing. Thanks for the tips. I'll avoid these mistakes now. Glad to help. You'll see progress in no time. I'm excited to speak more confidently from now. You've got this. Just stay consistent and enjoy learning. Now we learn some vocabulary words with examples. Fluency. He gained fluency by practicing English every day. One. Fluency. He gained fluency by practicing English every day. Two. Gram. Don't focus too much on grammar when speaking. Three. Confidence. Confidence grows with more speaking and less fear. 4. Pronunciation. Her pronunciation improved after consistent daily practice. 5. Hesitate. Don't hesitate when speaking. Just express yourself freely. 6. Filler words. Using too many filler words weakens your speech. 7. Translation. Relying on translation slows down your fluency. 8. Mistake. Making mistakes is essential for language learning. 9. Intonation. Your intonation changes the meaning of your sentences. 10. Rhythm. 
English has a specific rhythm that learners need to follow. This dialogue addresses the common mistakes English learners make, and the vocabulary examples help clarify key terms related to the discussion.